Hi Aries, it's Ellie and welcome to your reading. So let's get things started. Thank you so much, my spirits, angels, and guides. Please tell me what is coming towards Aries and their person regarding love this month. Please show me the cards that I need to see and please show me the messages clearly. So just a reminder, this is a general reading. Please take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Make sure that you watch the Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus to get a complete picture of what is coming towards you for the month ahead. Thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, and subscribed to my channel. I am so blessed to have all of you here supporting my channel. And if you haven't already, what is happening to me? If you haven't already, please do, all right? Everything on this channel, all the readings on this channel are free, okay? So your overall energy for this month is the Knight of Wands. Ooh, what is happening? Chaotic. All right, I'm hearing chaotic. Okay, so. Mm-hmm. All right, Aries, your challenge for this month is the Two of Swords. I do feel that there is some sort of indecision here. Uh, you are at a crossroads right now. I'm hearing one of you prioritizes another thing over the relationship, whether it's work or finances or family or friends or ambitions. The relationship is currently not, or the situation, the connection is currently not in priority. So that is something that you both have to decide whether or not you want to prioritize or, you know, um, set aside um, in the meantime. All right, so your overall energy for this month is the Knight of Wands. I do feel that this relationship is, all, there's a lot of passion this relationship, all right? There is a lot of passion. There's a lot of heat, but one of you is having a difficulty to commit or is having second thoughts whether or not to commit to a higher level of really a higher level in the relationship all right but it's very passionate it's really really passionate um i'm hearing there's a lot of love bombing going on here a lot of love bombing um one of you comes in really love bombs the other you know lots of passion but when shit hits the fan someone is faster than lightning to get out of it right okay well <laughs> okay so yeah i do feel that i do feel that well, one of, I do feel that the person, you or your person, or this connection, it's a very, lo there's a very, there's loyalty in this connection. There is loyalty, but I do feel that there is stubbornness involved. There is, it's taking slow to, for a very solid and stable offer to come in, but I do feel that we, the wheels are turning in your favor right now. And you are going to get that commitment that you've always dreamed of. Or maybe you're going to make that commitment that your partner is dreaming about, alright? So there is changes in the relationship, but it's kind of slow. It's kind of slow with the Wheel of Fortune and the Nine of Pentacles. Um, it's a very slow offer, but it's something very solid and very stable. You know, it's something that the universe and the universe is really has really written for you. 
and yes it's going to change things are going to change all right this commitment or this offer that's coming towards you or this relationship it's going to change your life i'm hearing there's a reconciliation all right reconciliation and you know really working out your differences between you and your person and i do feel that yes there is going to be a next level up in the commitment there's a next level up in the relationship all right um there's moving forward from whatever it is that hurt you or your person or both of you in the relationship in the past i do feel yes there is strong um strong energy of reconciliation coming coming out from this six of swords and yes there is a next stage in the relationship the three of wands is someone waiting for sh their ships to come in uh there is a next level or a level of in this relationship that you are in it's very strongly all right it's coming in very strongly okay so you have the king of pentacles i do feel that your person from the knight of pentacles to the king of pentacles male or female not really gender specific but i do feel that your person is going to level up in terms of whoever he uh, your person is from a knight from a knight to a king all right they just had to go through this rite of passage here okay so yes that's nice they leveled up so your person is going to become some is going to offer you a very stable and secure offer all right something that's only meant for you i'm hearing that your person is very serious in the relationship right now they're very serious they're very generous there's someone you can really really depend on all right i'm hearing they can be your foundation your rock your rock you rock <laughs> your rock all right okay this person is very communicative um very communicate very communicative they no longer feel that they have to fear this relationship or they have to fear the next level up in this relationship or committing it to, to a higher level in this relationship. I feel that they will come towards you very fast, very hot, very stable and secure, okay? Or you could, you know, um, take it how it resonates. It might be you who's going to do that well let's see all right so let's see the overall outcome of this situation or this spread what is the overall outcome okay okay Ooh. okay so the overall outcome of this uh spread is the six of pentacles the eight of swords and then the two of swords all right I do feel that you are still going to be very anxious in this relationship. Although this relationship is going to bring you a lot of balance, a lot of, you know, equal give and take in this um in this relationship or in this commitment or in this situation. Um I do feel that you are still very anxious about something. Whether or not they I'm hearing if they really will commit or if the offer is something worthwhile, that's what I'm hearing. So you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to be anxious about it. Um, fate has intervened, you know, this is the wheel of fortune. If you have this, I feel that, you know, fate is there. It, things are turning in your favor. So you have to just trust the universe about it. You really just have to trust okay what is the advice of spirit we'll take that the sun okay could be dealing with a leo not really necessary necessary yeah, okay okay so the advice of spirit is the sun the ten of swords and then the emperor so the advice of spirit is very simple let go of that bossiness or someone in the relationship is trying to take control or trying to be the boss of the other so you just have for you to have balance in the relationship no one has to be the boss 
all right it's an equal give and take a relationship should be an equal give and take okay let go of the old things let go of all the the pain and the hurt the things that you you both have outgrown in the relationship let go of that let go of it all right and then sun embrace happiness it's going to be a very abundant time for you it's going to be very happy happier you're getting happier memories happier you know a happier outcome between you and your person all right so let's see let's cap it off with some oracle cards ah. no. i'm not gonna take all of that Okay, you have engagement. So your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. I told you, I told you, things are changing in your favor. Okay, so what what aspect of, of the relationship do you have to focus on? What aspect of love, I mean? What aspect of love do you have to, ah, do you have to focus on? All right, responsibility. You are aware of the power of your thoughts and the amount of love you express. All right, responsibility. And lastly, you have the wisdom of the oracle. Let's see. You have clean it up. That is number 21. Let's see what that means. all right oh. okay clean it up relationship message all right time to clear the air take a look at your side of the street and say what's on your mind sweep away all the old stuff so that a spring breeze can flow through the through with a new energy it's the perfect time to do an inventory of your dynamics and see what is yours and what is not ours to clean up the relationship everyone brings some baggage sort through what you brought with you and let go of what is no longer needed become un in encumbered with your relationship eh, and your relationship with will flourish. Well, I told you, I told you, you have to let go of things that you both have outgrown in the relationship, all right? So, I hope something in the reading resonated, Aries. If it did, please give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And I hope to see you in the next one. Have a good uh, month ahead of you and stay blessed.